What's up guys? Welcome to Jinx Inc. I'm Courtney and today's video is a little different. It's a vlog slash draw video. Um, let's get into the intro. Okay, all right. I just want to let you guys know we're going to kind of restructure things a little bit, get things more exciting and more uh, post more consistently. So um, I've been working on 100 days of sketching uh, that started in May and that lasted for a while. Uh, so some of my projects got put on hold while I participated in that and the Marvel Month challenge and participating in some of Jazz's um, competitions that he had on Reddit and so forth. And it was a lot of fun. But uh, now all that's done and I got some projects finished and out of the way, which I'll be sharing with you guys really soon. So I'm gonna get to the video. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite sketches that I did during the 100 days of sketching. And also just some of the ones that I happened to record because uh, at some point I guess I stopped recording my drawing process. So I hope you guys like it and uh, I look forward to sharing some exciting, fun videos with you guys going forward. So here we go. Day one was rise. So I wanted to go <clears throat> kind of multiple directions with this one. I went for the little sunrise in the background, but I also did a kid just holding his hand up high, you know, the fist in the air, just saying he's like rising above it all. Meaning he's either, you know, rising above injustices, rising above bullying, rising above just being the best kid he can be. That was what I kind of wanted to go with with that one. So day three was um, legend. And so this one was actually my husband's idea. I don't remember which one of us came up with this particular scene to draw, but uh, we both thought it was pretty funny and I really enjoyed drawing it. And yeah, it was just pretty awesome. Day six, Orky. So no one knew what an Orky was. Uh, so, but when I heard of it, I thought of an orca and some kind of like creature. So I tried to put the two of those things together and create my own little character. And that's basically what I did here. It's some kind of creature who resembles or has co the color schemes of an orca. So yeah, this is a pretty fun one too. I love creating my own characters and uh, making something unique and different. Day seven, wise brains. I wanted to make it funny, also somewhat literal. So this, I came up with these brain robot kind of creatures. So the idea is they're basically robots, but they have the brain of a human and they're super wise beyond their years. And I was picturing that these three characters would be the people you would come to ask questions. And I guess like these are the three wisest ones or, or of this, this world that I created. I had a lot of fun with this. This was, this was awesome to do. Well, the handyman. This was also really fun to do. Um, it was supposed to be kind of like a sequel where Jim Carrey's back as the handyman. <laughs> I had fun drawing it and the idea was just pretty funny to me and my husband. So that's what I came up with for this day. And yeah, I like it. Bugsy. 
Now, this one was awesome. It was more comic book-esque than some of my other more cartoony drawings. I had a lot of fun with this character design. Um, well, I didn't want to just draw a normal book, so I came up with this. He's some kind of like beetle slash scorpion, and I wanted to go with like wasp colors, but also add some blues in there because I, I thought that the blue and yellow would go good together. Um, but yeah, I just had a lot of fun with this character design and mashing up different bug-like qualities and creating a superhero out of him. Um, so it was a lot of fun. I liked doing this one. So guys, that's it for me today. I hope you guys liked the video. There were several sketches that I wasn't able to include in the video that I had a lot of fun doing. So if you wanna go ahead and check it out, check out my Instagram, jinkink underscore art. I'll go ahead and link it below. And uh, yeah, so until next time, be kind, stay positive. What? You have another question? Sure, I got one question for you. It's, what can you do with that?